people welcome back to my channel i am back with another video and from the title you already know what i'm going to talk about or what i'm going to share with you guys today and hope your day is going on well and your 2021 is being blessed and amazing things are happening so let's get into this video today's video is all about what you should know before going to college and these are the things no one will tell you your parents will not tell you you just find them by your by yourself and i am here to share with you guys to all the girls and the boys who are going to college this is a video for you please consider sharing with your friends so let's get into this video the first point is make sure you can afford the college you want to go make sure you are able to afford that college colleges are so expensive they are very very expensive but you don't want to go to a place whereby you are not able to afford you'll be missing classes because of fees oh please make sure that college you are able to afford it the you know the fees is affordable it is in a it is in that level that is fair you don't want to miss classes that's so nasty you'll be just all over the place confused you've missed classes you missed your uni mm -hmm. and you don't want that so make sure that college is affordable and their learning structure is at par as much as it's affordable their learning structure is at it's at par you don't want to to go to a place whereby you've been wasting your time and you've been wasting your money because that time is just short it will go quickly without you knowing four years three years 18 months it's not a job so make sure you look for a college that is affordable a college of your standard a college of your you know category point number two save money before going to college oh yes this is very important money is very important it will come handy when you're going to college you need money for clothes most of when you're going to live in a hostel you need money to buy food you need money for activity you need money for clothes bedding please if you're being given money by your parents by your guardians the small small monies that you just exploit here and there you buy unnecessary stuff consider saving that money it will it will come handy it will and also when you're in college and maybe you've just joined and you already know how your classes are and your learning structure is there are so many things you can do don't just waste, waste that time while doing nothing and you're being broke there are so many things you can do you can start a business or you can look for a job you can look for a part-time job where you'll be working either morning hours and going to classes in the evening you just juggle look for something you're able to do there are so many business ideas you can do when you're in college you can start selling clothes tops shorts you can start your own you know you can do beauty stuff if you're good at them applying people makeup selling samosas chapels you, know, you never go wrong with food in college because people eat you know food is very important it is part of our lives so make sure you have a side hustle you have something you're doing on the side that will generate that income money 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 and money will make you happy and another point keep record of your receipt and understand your payment plan and due date because sometimes you will pay school fees and maybe in your record in school it will not show so please keep your the record of your receipt so that you'll have something to back you or you have a backup plan somewhere when something of the sort arises you'll be like 
I paid, I cleared and this is the receipt you gave me. So keep record of receipt and understand your payment plan. Understand your classes. This is very important. You don't want to do units that are not part of you. You don't just want to be in to do units that are not part of your course. So be in check with the administration always. And know what time your classes start and what time they end because you don't just want to be in this confusion mode. Understand your classes, it's very important. Another point is it will take a while for you to find true friends. You know, when you're a fresher, you a fresher bado, you meet so many people. You'll meet so many people when you may join now, those people you've joined together, and you're just looking for that person who matches your spirit. Because at this point, you will meet so many people because during the first first week of joining or the first month you have orientation you have freshers bash and you will be meeting so many people you meet different people of different background of different diverse like but it will take a while for you to meet so that one true friend that one person who matches your spirit so be careful when you're choosing friends. You don't want friends who will influence you to start doing drugs. You don't want friends that will mislead you and you'll stop going to you'll stop going for classes. You don't want those friends that will be, you know, will mess your life up. So it will take a while. Be patient. Don't just choose anyone because you're like in a lonely mood. Be patient. You will find that person who matches your spirit and that person will be a true friend. But also you will find people you can interact with and you will just see how they, they behave or how they carry themselves. So don't be under a pressure of having a friend. It is normal to be alone. It's not a must you carry people who don't belong to your circle. Another point, mental health is a priority. Make sure, mental health is a priority. Make sure you're not overloading yourself. Just have a right schedule at the time you'll be going to bed, the time you'll be doing your studies, homework. Mental health is a priority. You don't want to be sick. You don't want to be stressed all the time. It is a time to just enjoy your life. It is a time to learn new things. It is a time to explore. So make sure your mental health, it is in the right state. Another point, exercise should be part of your life. You just want to go to class when you're fresh, when you're strong, you know. But sometimes it's so difficult because if you have morning classes and you're trying to juggle exercise and the classes sometimes but exercising is very good or make sure you're part of an activity in school it can be football any physical activity make sure you're part of it because also exercising is part of mental health another point do things alone sometimes it's good to do things alone you don't need people around you, you don't need friends around you sometimes you don't you just want to go to a place you want to learn things by yourself and your friends are not willing to come so you're not telling you not go just because your friends have said no sometimes it's good to do things alone it also helps you find and meet new people and you learn new things by yourself Another point, make sure you don't underestimate yourself. You can do anything. Just because you've joined Just because you've joined college and you're this fresh you're fresher still, you're fresh and you in your mind you're just like 
I'll just be, I'll just sit in my own cocoon and do nothing. It is very important to come out, share your talent, explore, find new things you can do in school. There are so many interesting things you can do. You can find another passion still in school. So don't underestimate yourself just because you've joined college and you're a fresher. You can do anything. You can become something great in that school that you wouldn't have imagined you would have done or you were able to do so don't underestimate yourself try everything that comes your way you'll have things that you'll succeed in and you'll have things that you will not just go the way you want them to go so in everything you'll be having a step you'll be learning like this is good for me this ain't i am able to do this i am not able to do this so just because you've joined college doesn't mean you're not able to do great things in college. So don't underestimate yourself. Another important point is know yourself. This is very important because in college sometimes life is so misleading. This is the place whereby you find freedom. You want to explore in different things you're not able to do when you're in high school or when you're under your parents' care or, you know, this is a place whereby it's a stage whereby everything you're thinking for yourself, you're making decisions, you're making crucial decisions about your life. Things that will either destroy your life or they will contribute to your success so make sure you know yourself you understand yourself you're in that position to say no to the things that don't benefit you you're in a point whereby you make decisions that will not lead you to a life that is of destruction but a path of success you know along the way you will do things that have so many mistakes before you learn but also through those mistakes you know what is right you know what is wrong you know this is not right but also know yourself you've been a point where but you can make a decision for yourself because at this point even though your parents are there like there are things you have to learn by yourself there are things you have to decide by yourself you like if this is good for me i'll do it for me if it is not i will not do it so just know yourself understand yourself know where you're coming from have a, a point have an opinion about everything think, think things through before you explore before you do them and also this is a point in life whereby there are so many things like so many things will happen you find so many people who, who are there to mislead you so if you don't know yourself you end up in a part of destruction but you, if you know you have a higher power above you you will strive to please the higher power you will strive to do that which is right you will strive to do that which is best you not want to go against you wish do that which makes you happy but don't do the things that are you pressured to do by anyone don't do drugs because your friends are doing drugs don't join bad companies because you want to be in that place whereby I want everyone to know me or I want to be this famous human being. No. Do things because you yourself want to do them, you are happy to do them, and there are things that will benefit you, the things that will not lead you to a path of destruction. The things that will make you you make they'll make God happy and they'll make you happy and they'll make your parents happy. So when you're going to college it's very important for you to know yourself because this is a place where you can mess your life 
you be my step mom. Just like this. Your life will either be on a perfect journey or it will end up into something that is not good. So always know yourself, understand yourself before going to college, understand what you want in life, who you are in life, and who you are in the society. Guys, thank you for watching my video. Hope it was helpful and hope it was educating. If you want me to do more of such kind of videos, please comment down below. Share your experiences, share the things you've learned. If you're a college student, a university student, share with us down below. If you want me to do another video like this one, things you should know. There's so many things. You can tell me down below on the comment section and I am willing to do it. Please consider subscribing. It is free so that you can become part of my of this amazing family. Hit the bell button for all so that you'll be notified each time I drop a video and give this video a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up and share with family and friends. Bye. See you on the next one.